All right, 17.1 vertical analysis of an income statement. Vertical analysis ratios measure the relationship between one financial statement item and another item on the same financial statement. So it's vertical, up and down. Um, on the income statement, vertical analysis ratios focus on the ability of a business to earn a profit. A ratio that measures the ability of a business to generate income is called a profitability ratio. Um, the vertical analysis ratios on an income statement are examples of profitability ratios. That's what I just said. <laughs> Managers use vertical analysis ratios to help make business decisions. Um, for, for vertical analysis to be an effective tool, a business must set a target or standard for each ratio. Um, a standard used to compare financial performance is called a benchmark. There are four factors used to determine benchmark ratios. First of all, actual ratios from prior fiscal periods. Current, current fiscal period ratios tend to be similar to prior period ratios. Number two, industry standards published by industry organizations. A business can be expected to have ratios similar to other businesses in the same industry. Number three, business plans. Managers often make decisions that change how they conduct business. For example, managers may decide to advertise more with a goal of increasing sales. As a result, advertising expense as a percent of sales is likely to change. And number four, unexpected events. Unexpected events may require a business to revise its benchmark ratios. For example, a hard freeze in Florida can result in higher food prices. Um, benchmarks for three green. Three green sets a benchmark for each vertical analysis ratio. A benchmark ratio can be stated as a single value of a range of values. Um, three green expects its gross profit should be between 59.5% and 60.5% of net sales. If a ratio falls outside of the target range, three green should look for what caused the unfavorable results. Analyzing trends with a vertical analysis. Um, so financial statements that provide information for multiple fiscal periods are called comparative financial statements. And analysis, um, sorry, back it up a little. The vertical analysis ratios are presented next to each year's income statement amounts. An analysis of changes over time is called trend analysis. Comparing financial statement ratios over two or more periods is useful for identifying and correcting unfavorable trends. Management should analyze the trends indicated by changes in vertical analysis ratios. The first vertical analysis ratio a manager would likely analyze would be for net income after federal income taxes. This ratio reveals how successfully the business has performed in generating income. And then this last bullet point, um, net income after federal income tax as a percent of net sales is called profit margin. Three Greens profit margin has decreased from 13.4%. I'll show you on this page. Um, sorry, where is it? Three Greens profit margin has decreased from 13.4% to 12.7% prior year. 13.4% to 12.7% of net sales. Three Green would like its net income after federal income tax to be a larger, larger part of each sales dollars. Thus, these ratios show an unfavorable trend. Um, let's see. Oh, so this utilities expense. So right here. Um, so the utilities expense has increased from 0.6% to 0.8% of net sales. This is also an unfavorable trend, and this can alert management to evaluate its energy policies and investigate payments posted to this account. So 
using vertical analysis to analyze gross profit. Gross profit is a gross profit as a percent of net sales is called gross margin. This ratio is also referred to as gross profit margin. So for most retail businesses, the cost of merchandise is the largest cost of doing business. Controlling the cost of merchandise is necessary to maximize gross profit. Gross profit must be large enough to cover total operating expenses and produce the desired amount of net income. The vertical analysis ratios for the cost of merchandise sold and gross profit are similar. Both ratios focus on the relationship between sales and the cost of merchandise sold. Any increase in the cost of merchandise sold reduces gross profit. Therefore, a manager can focus on either ratio in an effort to maximize the gross profit. Managers often focus on the cost of merchandise sold ratio. Um, the manager of a, a street cafe constantly monitors, monitors her food cost. For the cafe, the food cost is the cost of merchandise sold. The manager expects her, her food cost to be between 36 and 38 percent. If her food cost exceeds 38 percent, she immediately investigates what has caused it to go up. So most managers um, and investors watch the vertical analysis ratio for gross profit. Um, to correct an unfavorable gross margin, um, two actions can enable a business to achieve its gross margin benchmark. You can either increase unit sales prices um, or decrease the unit cost of merchandise. Um, both of these will try to, man management may need to take both actions to achieve its gross margin benchmark. Um, using vertical analysis to analyze operating expenses. Um, income from operations as a percent of net sales is called the operating margin. This ratio is also referred to as rate of return on sales. So the total operating expenses as a percent of net sales is called the operating expense ratio. Um, three greens benchmark total operating expense ratios between 40 and 42 percent. Um, its actual operating expense ratio has declined from 43.9 percent to 42.4 percent, which is a favorable trend. The current year's ratio is still higher than the target range, which is an unfavorable result. Therefore, three greens managers need to continue their efforts to decrease operating expenses. Um, Okay. Um, to correct an unfavorable operating expense ratio, you can try three things. First of all, reduce operating expenses. Um, that would be like supplies, supplies expenses. Employees can be trained to use supplies more efficiently. Management can also try to obtain lower prices from vendors. Insurance expense. Management can try to lower its insurance expense by comparing premiums from other insurance companies. The business can also elect to reduce the amount of coverage. Credit card fee expense. Management can offer customers incentives to pay with cash rather than using a credit card. Um, that's all just part of reducing operating expenses. Number two, modify the benchmark. Management may be unable to reduce an expense. Three Greens Utilities expense has increased from 0.6 to 0.8% of net sales. The local utility company raised its rates during the current year. Three Green changed its thermostat set thermostat settings to conserve energy. Still, it was unable to offset the rate rate increases. Three Green may have to accept that its utility expenses will be higher in future fiscal periods. And then lastly, increase net sales. Management can offset an increase in operating expenses by increasing net sales. The business can increase its unit sales price if customers are willing to pay higher prices. The business can also take actions to increase the number of items sold. All right. Identify four factors that management can use to determine benchmark financial ratios. Um, can look at actual ratios from prior fiscal periods. Um, look at industry standards published by industry operations, sorry, industry organizations. 
Look at business plans and unexpected events. Why should a business be cautious? So sorry about increasing the markup on merchandise purchased for sales. If the increase in markup is too large, a decrease in sales revenue could occur for two reasons. Number one, the sales price may exceed what customers are willing to pay. Or two, customers may elect to purchase from competing businesses having lower prices. What are two practices that can be used to reduce the cost of merchandise? Mer purchase merchandise in larger quantities from other vendors often lower cost. Should managers interested in reducing operating expenses focus more on the operating expense ratio or the operating margin? Um, I would focus on the operating expense ratio. And then lastly, what are three possible actions to correct an unfavorable operating expense ratio? Reduce operation, operating expenses, modify the benchmark, or increase net sales. All done.